Well, over the weekend, a New York Times report said Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump claimed a tax loss of nearly a billion dollars back in 1995. The Times said that loss could mean he paid zero federal income tax for nearly two decades. The move is legal and eye-opening. Robert Frank explains how the tax code can turn losses into gains. When most taxpayers lose money or income, they never get it back. But Donald Trump's latest tax controversy shows that for certain wealthy taxpayers, a loss can actually be a gain. The New York Times reporting over the weekend that Trump reported a net operating loss of $916 million in 1995, which he could then use to erase income taxes on up to $916 million in earnings over 18 years. And it's all perfectly legal. And it's thanks to a little known but very lucrative part of the tax code called the net operating loss or NOLs. Now, NOLs were first enacted in 1918, and it only applied to two years of income at that time. The idea was to allow businesses to report a loss in one part of the calendar year that they could then make up in the next part of the calendar year. So NOLs allowed them to smooth over their tax payments. But over the years, it's expanded and exploded in size. In 1995, taxpayers could deduct losses for 18 years. Now it's more than 20 years. Taxpayers claimed about $50 billion in NOLs in 1996. In 2014, that number had ballooned to nearly $200 billion. The losses are helpful to the wealthy and wealthy business owners like Trump, whose company and income taxes flow through their personal income tax returns. Taxpayers can only apply these losses to companies they own or control, like LLCs, S-Corps, and C-Corps. And this is not to be confused with investment losses, which can only be used to offset capital gains, but can only reduce your personal income tax by a maximum of $3,000. But real estate developers like Trump have found ways to turbocharge the NOL provision. Designated real estate professionals like Trump can deduct multi-million dollar interest payments on their building loans and the depreciation of their real estate so they can report large paper losses while making huge incomes. Now, while use of NOLs is not uncommon among the wealthy, the magnitude of Trump's losses are almost unheard of. Now, accountants I talked to say the biggest NOL they've ever heard of was well under $100 million. The Trump campaign saying, quote, Mr. Trump is a highly skilled businessman who has a fiduciary responsibility to his business, his family, and his employees to pay no more tax than legally required. Now, we still don't know exactly how Trump generated the loss, and given that he's refused to release his returns, we may never have an answer to that question. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Robert Frank.